Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Today I'm here with another pregnancy update for weeks 11 and 12. And so if you're interested to see what the past couple weeks have been like and all of my symptoms and things um, that we're experiencing with this pregnancy, go ahead and keep watching. For those of you who are new to our channel, my husband and I conceived this baby. This is our first baby and we conceived this baby through IVF. So we've been on a lot of medications and I totally spaced letting you guys know in my last update that at week 10, so my last pregnancy update was in weeks nine and 10. And at week 10, we got to get off progesterone injections as well as I was doing estrogen injections and progesterone suppositories. So that was huge news and I totally spaced telling you guys that, um, but it was super exciting and I, I was just so mostly thrilled to be done with those, especially the progesterone and oil because that stuff is not fun. <laughs> Basically it's thick oil that you're injecting into your hip or tushy area and it leaves like these really bad knots and I the only way you can really get rid of those is like massaging them, but it hurts to massage them. So anyway, I just felt like I was a big, like naughty, lumpy mess back there by the time we were done with them. I feel like it gets worse over time too. So by the end, we were just so done with those injections because it's also like, like you have to plan your day around them in a way. So that was kind of annoying. And then the progesterone suppository, same thing. I had to do it morning and night. And so in the morning, I had to wake up earlier so that I could like put the suppository in and then lay there while it does its thing. Sorry if this is TMI, but it's a pregnancy update, so what do you expect? Um, so anyway, we were very thrilled to be done with those injections at week 10 with all the medications. I was a little bit wary of it because I was like, gosh, am I really ready to stop being like to stop these medications, but both my fertility doctor and my OB were totally confident with me going off them. So I just had to trust that we were good. So yeah, we are done with injections. We are done with medications. The only thing I'm on right now is a baby aspirin. Um, well, which I'm supposed to stop according to my fertility doctor at week 12. So I should be off it by now, but, um, my OB said, I'm totally fine to take that throughout my whole pregnancy. Like he said, as far as he sees it, it's good for women to be on that. So I don't know. I, I'll take it until I run out of it probably and then go from there. I don't know if I'll keep taking it. I did want to say, I think maybe after getting off the medications that it kind of gave me like withdrawals in a way. Like I felt like I was getting a lot of headaches. Um, but we can get into that when I get into my symptoms. So I'm just gonna go through a list of questions and answer those, cause I think that will just like keep me consistent with all of my pregnancy updates so I'm not missing anything, hopefully. <laughs> um, so it says, how far along are you? Um, I don't know how far along exactly, I'd have to look at my app, but I'm almost 13 weeks, which I think means I'm almost out of my first trimester, I guess, which is really great. Um, so total weight gain, um, at this point, the last time I weighed myself, I weighed, I had gained like six pounds, I think. Um, but I may have talked about this in my last pregnancy update. I feel like with IVF, with all the medications you're on and stuff, you're gaining, I don't know if that's necessarily because of the pregnancy. I think it's more like all the hormones and stuff like the medications. Um, so who really knows? Um, but when I was at my doctor last time, like when I went at nine weeks, I think I was 120 and then I went, weighed myself the other day and I was 130. So I started this pregnancy around 124, which is already more, I usually am around 119, but with IVF stuff this year, I gained five pounds. And then since then I've gained six pounds, I guess. So I'm at 130 right now. Um, we'll see when I go to the doctor in the next week and a half where I'll be at. I'm really not trying to weigh myself a lot because it's like, I don't know, I'm just trying to like stay active and exercise and eat as healthy as I can. Like when I crave healthy food, I really try to take advantage of it, but just depends on what I'm craving. 
Um, okay, so maternity clothes. Are you wearing maternity clothes? Is the next question. Yes, um, but really only one pair of pants that I just really love. I showed them in my last pregnancy update, but I am really interested in trying um, the Lululemon Align leggings because I've been doing research on like the best um, maternity leggings. I've already tried one pair from Gap and I don't love them because they're just really thin. I mentioned this in my last update. So I've been researching like the best maternity leggings and everyone's saying online like the Align legging from Lululemon is like not maternity but it's like the best maternity legging and you can wear it after so I guess just the material that they use to make the legging is just amazing so I think I'm gonna look into that I know they're pricey I have bought Lululemon stuff before and it lasts forever um, but I was mostly buying it when I was a teacher a yoga teacher and I was getting like a huge discount on it not huge but like 15 to 20 percent off which is big for Lululemon but um I might go check out um, those leggings and see, and maybe just like that will be what I get for Christmas or something because they're expensive. But I think it'll be worth um, worth buying if I'm gonna wear them like every day. So I just need a really good pair of durable, good black leggings, um, maybe even two pairs if I'm gonna be like, that's all I'm gonna be in. Um, so let me know if you guys have ever tried the line leggings or if you have any other suggestions from people Suggested Target um, and Old Navy had some people recommended Old Navy. I don't know. If you could just shoot me some more specifics on what those leggings are like that you guys like, that would be amazing. So, and if any of you have tried the line ones, let me know. Okay, the next question is stretch marks? Question mark. Um, no stretch marks yet. Um, uh, most, like my sisters don't have them. My mom doesn't really have them. So I'm hoping I don't get them, but I have been lotioning myself everywhere, especially my chest because that has grown the most for sure. I feel like I grew six pounds just in my chest. That's probably where all the weight went. I don't know. Well, it's, we'll get there. Okay. Um, how are you sleeping? I am sleeping so good. And that's because I take Unisom every night, which is sleep aid. It also helps like it's for like, that's what they, the doctor tells you to take for nausea. Um, cause my nausea is the worst at night. So I take Unisom at night and I've been taking a full dose lately and well, like a 25 milligram and it knocks me out and it's amazing. And I was waking up to pee like in the early stages of pregnancy, like up until about 10 weeks or so, I was waking up to pee like every hour, like every two hours. So three to four times a night, it was ridiculous. But lately I have been not waking up at all or maybe just once. So that's been so nice. So I feel like I've been sleeping a ton. And when I sleep, like I really sleep. So that's been really nice. Okay, the next question is best moment of the past couple weeks. And I'm gonna say, the best moment was actually last night and last weekend, um, date night with Eric. We have been making more of an effort to go out and do something together once a week. Um, and we try to be like phone free so that we can really connect with each other and just hang out and like make more of an effort to like date each other. We hang out all the time and we but it's always like with people or like it's at home and we're just like lounging around and watching Netflix and stuff. So, um, to get in the habit of doing this before kids come, I wanted to start doing it once a week and really just make that effort to go out of the house for at least a couple hours, whether it's to dinner or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything big. Last night we just went and, um, tried this new restaurant. And then after that, we just went and got a little ice cream and walked around and it's just nice to reconnect and hang out with each other and date each other like we did before we got married. So that's probably my best moment. Okay, this next one is, this next question is missing anything. And not really other than like, I guess I would say when I go to my workout classes, I just don't feel the same um and I feel like I can't like I miss being able to just like go full out and do like burpees and 
like just really push myself. Um, but I really can't do that. I'm trying to keep my heart rate lower and just, um, get, I get my heart rate up and I get a good exercise, but I don't push myself. Um, so I kind of miss that feeling of like really pushing yourself. And even if I wanted to push myself in class, I don't think I could right now because I'm just, I just don't feel the same. Like my body feels weird. Like I don't even have a belly yet, but I already feel just like heavy. <laughs> so anyway, I would say if I'm missing anything, that's probably what I'm missing right now. Okay. The next question is movement. No, there's no movement yet. I'm sure. I mean, I know there is movement. I've seen the baby moving in there on ultrasound, but I haven't felt anything um, that I'm really, really excited to. Hopefully within the next month or two, we start to feel little, at least little flutters. And then hopefully soon we get to feel kicks. Like I'm so excited for that. So, okay. The next question is what are your food cravings? Um, right now I'm still craving cornflakes. <laughs> Every morning when I wake up, I just want a bowl of cornflakes and milk. Like that's it for breakfast. And then like I'll get ready and then maybe make eggs or something a little bit more uh, substantial. Um, but mostly like, yeah, cornflakes. I have not eaten any ramen, which that was like a huge craving in the beginning. Oh, I have to admit one of my cravings. Guys, this is bad. This is like. Um, I was craving so hard last week, easy cheese, like cheese from a can on crackers. And so I was craving that so bad, like literally nothing sounded good except for that. So Eric finally went and got me a can of easy cheese and I had some on crackers and it was so satisfying. And then I went to bed and felt great, which normally... <laughs> That would never happen, like, pre-pregnancy. Like, I would be sick if I ate that stuff. And even Eric was like, are you sure you want that? That's probably going to make you sick. But I don't really get how this body works when you're pregnant. Like, you want and you eat weird things. So that is one thing I've been loving. I've also been loving pickles, like, crazy. So just eating them straight out of the jar, which I did before I was pregnant, but... I really, really like pickles, and I even like the sweet kind, like the sugary kind. Like, I feel like I want all the gross, like, junk food. Like, I would never eat those sugary pickles pre-pregnancy. I just thought they were, like, a disgrace to pickles, and now I think they're so good. I think all pickles are good. So, pickles it is. The next question is, is anything making you queasy or sick? And not, not really... Um, except nighttime, that makes me sick. For some reason, just at night, doesn't matter what. I just, it hits like seven o'clock and I'm queasy. Um, but last week, Eric bought a, like Papa John's pizza and he just put it in the fridge at, like as leftovers. And so like this fridge smelled like pizza and that kind of pizza, I've told you guys in my last updates, that kind of pizza makes me so sick. Like it just, the smell is so gross. Um, so I opened up the fridge and I could smell that pizza and I was so grossed out. I was like dry heaving about to throw up. I had to run upstairs just in case. Cause I really thought I was going to throw up, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't throw up. I did make it to the bathroom, but I didn't throw up. Still have not thrown up yet, but I ended up putting that in a Ziploc bag, the pizza, the leftover pizza. And I like gave Eric a lecture about how he cannot leave boxes of pizza in the fridge because that smell was just too much for me. I don't know what it is about pizza. Like I can eat some pizzas, but pizza like from Papa John's and Pizza Hut and Domino's and Little Caesars and pizza like that, that just has a bunch of shredded cheese on it. It's just, it just really grosses me out. So that's probably the only thing. And then every once in a while I'll get like a whiff of garbage or something like from a garbage can and that really grosses me out. But that's like that grosses everyone out, I think. So yeah, that's probably the only thing right now that's making me queasy. Um, okay. The next question is gender. We know the gender. We've shared it with you guys already. We've known it for a long time because we did PGS testing and we are having a girl and I'm so excited. We have 
like tons of girl clothes. Um, and I even started like an Amazon registry so I can start, um, cause we're pretty much good with clothes. Um, I just wanted to start like organizing everything else we'll need. So I'm pretty stoked about having a girl. I'm really excited. Okay. Um, the next question is labor signs. No, I'm 12 weeks. No labor signs. Thank goodness. <laughs> Um, the next question is, what are your symptoms? So the past couple of weeks, I've had a lot more acne, like on my chin jaw, like area, which I usually don't break out there. I usually break out like in my T zone, but, um, I've had a lot of like breakouts here. I don't know if you guys, you guys can probably see them, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's no fun. Um, but luckily they're just like, they're a little smaller. They're not like cystic or anything which those kind hurt but anyway so acne has been prevalent the past couple weeks sorry about the lighting you guys I'm using the window to do my lighting and like the sun is going behind the clouds and yeah so if you guys are noticing the lighting change sorry um but anyway so acne was one of the symptoms another symptom I've noticed a lot are the headaches uh which I mentioned because I thought since I was going off medications that I would, that's what was giving me like withdrawal headaches or something. But then I read in my app, um, an article about how headaches are really common in pregnancy. And especially when you start to go in to the second trimester. So let me know if you guys ever experienced headaches, especially like in that transitional period or like in your second trimester. Um, I like, I kind of have one right now. I just, I feel like I have a headache during the day and then I get queasy and the headache gets worse around seven o'clock at night. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. Another symptom I've been having is really dry eyes. My mouth has also been dry, but that's been since the beginning and that's why I drink a ton of water, but um, my eyes have been so dry. And a couple times in the past couple weeks, I have had such dry eyes that I couldn't even put my contacts in. So I've had to wear glasses, which I don't love wearing my glasses. So, um, that's been kind of weird. Like it literally, like when I would put my contacts in, it would burn so bad. Um, and I looked up to see if that was a normal pregnancy like, symptom. And I guess it's, I found some things that said people had had really dry eyes. So if you've been pregnant and that's also been a symptom, I want to know. <laughs> Cause that's something I just like did not expect. So I hope it doesn't get too bad because I really, like I said, I really just don't like wearing my glasses. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, the next question is belly button in or out? It's in still. And the next one is wedding rings on or off? And my wedding ring is still on. I actually just wear like the band. I have my engagement ring. I just don't wear it a ton, but yeah, still on. Uh, next question is... Happy or moody most of the time? I would say I'm definitely happy most of the time. Um, I feel like in the earlier stages, I was moody, especially when I was like kind of getting used to being sick. I was moody about it. Um, and I definitely still have my moody moments, but for the most part, I'm really happy. Like, I feel like something will go wrong in my life and then I'll just think, it's okay, at least I'm pregnant. And I just feel so happy about that. Like, I can't believe I'm pregnant. It's just taken so long. So I think that's why I'm just like, I just am so happy about it. So mostly happy. Um, the next question is, what are you looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to my next OB appointment. Um, it's been two, three weeks since we've heard the baby's heartbeat. Um, I'm still thinking about getting an at-home Doppler. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, our next um, OB appointment is in a week and I'm just, yeah, I'm just excited to hear the baby's heartbeat. I don't think we're doing an ultrasound. Um, and it's actually on ha Halloween. So I'm excited about Halloween. So that's probably what I'm looking forward to right now. Okay. So I'm going to insert a belly shot here. I wasn't sure if I was going to even include this just because I haven't been doing them because there's like not much going on. Um, but if you're following me on Instagram, I do do a weekly photo of myself. 
Um, it's not like I'm not way emphasizing my bump because there's nothing there. So I'm just kind of taking the photos week by week just for fun so that I can look back and be like, oh yeah, that was the week. That was the week my belly popped and I looked pregnant. So, and then I want to see like what I looked like before and um, like before the bump grew and, and after it was like full grown. All right, so that is it for my 11 to 12 week pregnancy update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these pregnancy updates. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.